Welcome to part 9 of making a Stuart model steam plant. Something that you do not see very often, three Stuart S50 steam engines running at the same time. I feel that I should warn viewers that this could possibly be the most boring video in the world. While I was filming this, a mouse wandered into the workshop and immediately threw itself on a trap. It was just an ideal and very rare opportunity to show three Stuart S50s running at the same time. The high point of this video is later on, when I nearly get them to run in perfect synchronicity. A while back via eBay I bought a really good and useful thing. It's a metal tank with six valves on it. I showed it in a video a while ago but I can't remember which one it was. It's screwed to the bench at the right hand side in a really useful place. Not only can I bash my knee on it, I can reach it very easily to operate any one of the six taps. None of these S50s are perfect in any shape, way or form. The one with the yellow flywheel that looks like a wasp is the best of the bunch. The bearings are in good condition, the timing is perfect and it now has a silicone piston ring. Even though at the moment it is the wrong size, I will change that next week. The engine I'm going to select for this steam plant has to be the one that looks like the wasp. And I do need to speak to the customer to find out what colour he would like the engines. What do you think viewers? I'm thinking about two potential options. The first one is obviously to paint the pump, one of the S50s and one of the double 10 vs Stuart Green. The pump is currently painted in Crimson Lake, which is LMS Red. This S50 that currently looks like a wasp with the combination of yellow and black could be made to look quite nice if the sole plate of the engine was painted LMS red and just the base was black. But my preference really I think is going to be Stuart Green, which is also known as Brunswick Green or even Great Western Railway Green. All of these S50 steam engines are quite old. If you look they all have gunmetal cylinders. And two out of the three have the old style flywheel with the flatter spokes. The middle one has a more modern flywheel fitted which has rounder spokes. Trying to get these engines to run on compressed air at the same speed really was more difficult than I thought. It took a lot of very fine adjustment of the valves on the tank to try and get them to run at the same speed. The engine in the foreground, the Wasp, has a silicone piston ring as I fitted in the last episode, so this is always going to be more efficient and run better. The knocking noise you can hear is because the guide bars are not tight enough on the crosshead. Once again as I showed in the previous episode. I really am impressed with this one at the front. In the fullness of time I am going to rebuild the other two and probably I will keep one of them and sell the other. But that job's not going to be any time soon because I really do have a lot of work in the workshop at the moment. And customer jobs always take priority over my personal jobs. The throttle response, also known as the regulator response, on this first S50 is excellent. The second one doesn't pick up quite as fast. And the third one isn't picking up well because the actual adapter that I have into the steam chest is a little drain cock thing and it's not letting enough air in there. Once I twiddled the handle a bit to get it in the right position, there was a bit of an improvement. And that's all I can say. I'll leave the engines running at different speeds until the end of the video. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you're not finding it too boring. There goes another mouse. Now where did I put the Samaritan's phone number?
please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.